What's up, everybody? Moppet here, and today we've got some more reviews for you. Yeah, uh, don't worry. Yeah, saying's a little different, but it's another another story. Um, so the first recipe, I should probably pull it up. So the first recipe we're gonna be going over is Cool Melon by Sea Cow. Looks like, sorry. I'm using like a screenshot and it's really small for some reason. So, but yeah, Cool Melon. And um, the recipe reads 0.75% TFA Marshmallow, 1.5% Flavor Art Red Summer, 0.25% Capella Super Sweet, 0.75% uh, Real Flavors Taffy Base, 1% Flavor Art, White Winter, which is a spearmint, and 1% Favora Wild Melon. Yeah, as you guys know, I don't really review a lot of cooling, menthol, whatever type recipes because I'm really not a fan of them. Um, but this one seemed really interesting. It looked pretty good, and so I decided to mix it up, and you know, I guess every once in a while I need to do one. And um, I was quite surprised by this one. I actually do really enjoy it. Yeah, I really enjoy it. The cooling in it, that spearmint is probably about where I'm going to go with if I kind of do cooling myself. Um, I like it. It's not, you know, it doesn't have that like menthol taste. It's not too overpowering. It's just kind of refreshing. Um, it's still not something I could vape on all day just because I can't do cooling all day. I'll get bored out of it after maybe like two hours, but um, but it is nice. I do dig it. I've been vaping on it quite a bit, um, just off and on. And yeah, I dig it. Um, definitely, you know, kind of the main players in this are the Favora Wild Melon and that Spearmint. That's mostly what you get out of it. Um, Red Summer, I've never gotten really much out of. So I doubt that really brings too much to the table here. It might kind of help the melon a little bit, but I definitely would have went, if you were trying to get, I don't get any watermelon in it because I've never gotten shit out of red summer. So I would just, uh, I probably would have went with a different watermelon. If you were trying to get that watermelon added in there, uh, what else? The taffy base is kind of good. It kind of gives it just a little bit of kind of texture and body. Uh, same thing with the marshmallow. And then, yeah, a little bit of sweetener. I think it's a well put together recipe. Uh, it's really good. I think it would have been better with a different watermelon that would have been more pronounced. Uh, focus. All right. Yeah, I think it would have been a lot better with a better watermelon that would have been more pronounced. But as it stands, um, it's not a bad recipe at all. Definitely give it a three and a half out of five. And actually, I need to re-wick real quick. So, all right. And the next one, next one we have is Dragon's Breath by Too Tall. And the recipe reads, 1% Favora Blood Orange, 3% TFA Dragon Fruit, 1.5% Flavor Art Juicy Strawberry, and 3% TFA Strawberry Ripe. This one's pretty good too. Um, the Favora Blood Orange, you are going to get a little bit of floralness from it. Um, not as bad as like Flavor West Blood Orange, but a little bit more floral than like Flavor Art Blood Orange, because Flavor Art Blood Orange is probably my favorite. Um, it's definitely got the least amount of that floral, kind of citrus floral note in it. Um, what else? Yeah, and this one, it just. It kind of surprised me, but I get a little bit of like kind of a dry harshness from it. Um, not too bad, but considering it's too tall, you know, I got to be a little bit more kind of critical on his recipes. Um, you know, that guy can't just have praise all the time, but it's it's still a pretty decent recipe. It's just I get a little bit of kind of a dry, like harsh note in it. Um, and for that, I'm going to knock it down a little bit. But besides that, All the fruits play together really well. Um, yeah, maybe that Favora Blood Orange is used a little too high. I think the Strawberry Ripe could have been a little higher. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So 
So this one I'm going to give a three and a three out of five, um, which doesn't mean it's a bad recipe at all. It's still a good recipe. It's still worth mixing up. I think just there could have been a couple more tweaks to it to make it a little bit, a little bit more juicier, a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. I love you too tall. And that brings us to our recipe of the week. And our recipe of the week. I can see what it is. All right. Our recipe of the week goes to Caps Carnage by Steam Room. Yeah. And this recipe reads, man, it's really small. 4.5% TFA Berry Crunch, 2.5% TFA Blueberry Extra, 1% Capella Cereal 27, 0.5% Loran's Cream Cheese Icing, 2% one-on-one -on -one Creamy Milky Undertone, 1% Flavor West Hazelnut, 2.25% Flavor Art Meringue, and 1.25% Capella Sweet Strong. Man, that is really good. It's just really good. It's really, really fucking good. Definitely one of the best cereal vapes I've ever had. Um, I reviewed his Tony's Revenge not too long ago, and that was that was a good cereal recipe. It didn't it didn't quite blow me away like this one does. Um, this one I definitely think is better. I, this one is just like killer, man. Steam Room, you killed it on this one. It is just really fucking good. Um, Oh, there isn't. Yeah, yeah, there's blueberry. That little bit of blueberry. The blueberry and hazelnut really, really are, were a good choice. Because um, those, uh, those just like really take it over the edge, you know. Uh, TFA Berry Crunch is, is great. I mean, I baked it standalone. But the way he put everything in here, um, the cream base, I know he worked, he's worked pretty hard on, on kind of coming up with this cream base for his cereals. And I think it works awesome. Um, Yeah, you definitely get the milk in there. Actually, I think the hazelnut kind of helps with that too. Uh, it's just really well done. It's just really well done. It's nice and fruity. You get the grain in there from the cereal. You get the creaminess and the milk. Um, you just get everything you would want from it. And it's pretty authentic, you know, um, to like a Captain Crunch. Steam Room just definitely has a knack for cereal vapes, and um, he definitely puts out probably some of the best ones out there. And yeah, dude, just just great job. Um, I think I'm just gonna do this a five out of five. I know I don't do it often, but I really can't find anything wrong with it or anything I don't like. Uh, it's innovative. It's you know, it's just good. It's really good. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to give it a five out of five. I think it's that good. Um, so, yeah, definitely mix up um, Caps Carnage. Uh, it also has, like, a cool like text uh, description that, because my picture, I can't really read it right now. Um, what else? All the flavorings he uses are definitely worth having. So if you're missing anything, definitely pick it up. Those are all flavorings that I use pretty often. Um, yeah, great job, Steam Room. And everybody else out there, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. Be good to each other. I will talk to you all later.